gonna tell you straight up. I have never seen this on YouTube. I've seen many apology videos. Some good, some bad. But what I've never seen is, who tries to apologize twice? Two separate videos because the first one failed. I'm confused. don't know if this is an apology video because David has a big ego, okay? He knows he's one of the top YouTubers. And because he knows that, he knows he doesn't have to put any effort in titling his videos. And this is why I don't know if it's an apology video. Let me explain. His first apology video, for example, is titled, Let's Talk. Who are you trying to talk with? And you didn't even let them talk because you shut off your comments. You didn't let anybody respond. It was just you talking and everybody listening. But it don't matter. He got six million views on it, which he knew he was going to have. Either way, that was a failed apology video. Now his second video came out, and this one is titled March 22nd, 2021. What the fuck? It's only been out for a whole day. It's gonna already be at six million views. This is his ego. He knows he don't gotta title it shit he just titled it with a date and i know you're going to talk about the two word term s a and the four letter word r and you're gonna title it with a date come on anyways guys let me watch this video and react even though it's been out for a day i have not seen it i wanted to wait to react to it with you so y'all ready to react because y'all know i am let's get it hi guys it's um 145. Okay, on the bottom, TW. This video discusses multiple forms of trauma, including the R word and SA. And by the way, you are actually one of the main people that is responsible for those forms of trauma. I hope you understand that now, but we'll see. In the morning, and I'm finally by myself, <laughs> which I know it doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 1.45 in the morning, but um, this week's been pretty hectic, and there have been a lot of people, um, a lot of people around telling me what to do, giving me advice, um, trying to help me, um, most importantly, and and that was a lot, and, and, and I, I, now I, I, I just want to, I want to be able to do this and just shoot straight to the camera and just talk to you guys. Uh, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions and I've never done this correctly and I've never done this respectfully and my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. I just want to be clear. What this video is... I hope that video is not monetized by the way and I hope this one isn't either. I haven't looked into it. But I hope your PR team because <laughs> you're a smart man at the same time. You're a smart man with no morals. <clears throat> it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Kat, or any other woman involved. Um, I'm going to be using words um, that may trigger some survivors, and that's just so I don't explain anything vaguely, and I can explain every situation appropriately. I want to start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was didn't by him. Um, as is reported, the next day I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. And I, what, what I understand now, and I didn't understand before, is that she sent that text because she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. And that's fucked up. And I'm sorry. When she okay, but I have a question already. <laughs> And you, hopefully you get into it. Did you know that this occurred that night while you were there? Because you were there. You were there. You know how intoxicated she was. If you saw her fucked up off of alcohol, walking into that room with Dom, and you know Dom's history with women, why didn't you stop it from happening? Instead, you kept filming and making fun of the situation. Like it was a joke. Just a question. Hope you get into it. I reached out a couple months later to take the video down. I immediately took it down. And I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected. He said he enabled it. Okay. 
Which, which is what we all already know. From the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was, that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I did not know this before. It was completely wrong and I wish I was more responsible and I wish I was more aware at the time and, I, and I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't know what was going on in that room and I should have been. I should have been there and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was was taken care of and wasn't uncomfortable. I don't want to use buzzwords to... Okay, 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 okay. So you answered my question. You said you did not know what was happening in that room. Another question. <laughs> you helped provide alcohol to these underage girls. You knew they were drinking. You already know what kind of impairment this can cause in a grown adult's brain. They're young. They're gonna fuck up. They're gonna make bad decisions off of alcohol. You encouraged it. Now when the situation happened inside the room, you were not inside there, so you may not have known. I'm pretty sure you were there to see that girl walk into that room. And if she blacked out inside the room when the R happened, she must have been stumbling in there to begin with. And that, I'm sure, is what you saw. Why didn't you stop it before anything happened? Come on, man. Justify this or explain this, but all I can say is people felt like they had to be silent for the sake of my video. And that's not right, and it's fucked up, and I'm sorry. I also want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against Dom in 2018. I'm talking about Allie, and then I'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly. Um, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys. I am sorry that I that I took Dom's word um, for what happened those in those certain situations and I didn't believe you. And He's talking about what happened in 2018. I believe it was a year before the R happened. Dom, who is accused of the R, also was accused of SA to two other women in 2018 that David Dobrik was aware of, but still decided to keep him in his team. What did you expect was going to happen? Not only did I not believe you, but I made a joke of, of what kind of a person Dom was because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend of mine doing this to people and actually hurting people, and, and, and I'm sorry for that. Not only did I discredit you, Abby, but I platformed Dom. And not only did I platform Dom, but I platformed the subject of sex in a negative way yep. where I made jokes about it yep. and I reinforced that kind of behavior and yep. I'm so sorry and I really let not only you down but a lot of people down a lot of people that watch me and my friends and family for that I made the decision to okay that, apo that apology right there I believe he meant listen guys it takes people time to really comprehend what the hell is going on. It's just sad that it had to take sponsorships to stop working with him and other deals to fall apart, to force him to open up his mind and eyes to what the fuck he's been doing, the kind of harm he's been causing to people. So his apology may be real. At the same time, you are still a selfish man. You are a selfish man. You want your businesses to keep thriving and you know that your bad decisions has fucked you bad. But at least it's something. At least it's something. And I will say right now, this, it, this video is a lot better than the first one. Longer film with Dom in 2019 and I'm not saying my content has been brilliant since then, but that's when I first started taking into account um, the power dynamic and what influence I had on people that I was filming with. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I, I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people and that breaks my heart knowing that. that is he about to cry? Is, is, you, is you about to cry? Good. I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. Before my content shifted to be more responsible and positive, I said and did things that were really offensive and I called them bad jokes and I, and I can't even call them bad jokes and it was cowardly of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark um, because it's fucking gross. And I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me saying cancel culture is bullshit and you need to fight back and you need to call people out. And I don't agree with how this should be taken at all. And I Good. And whoever t 
told you that, you need to cut them off. They are giving you bad advice. All those people care about is social media. For them to even mention cancel culture, it has nothing to do with this whole cancel culture shit. It's the fact that you caused harm and you need to make it right. When there is a crisis, there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself to learn and improve and to make sure those mistakes don't happen again. And that's why it's so important to hold yourself accountable. And I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from, but there's a lot of mistakes that I made. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for everybody I've let down. I'm sorry to my family and I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed and that this won't happen again. I'm gonna take a short break from all the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure I make any kind of content and I want to be able to have a place of checks and balances. I want to have a- It's not just about the content. It's apparently the way you were raised, the people you're around that's influencing you. It's your mindset. It's your morals and values that you need to change. That is what you need to work on. Work on yourself and then work on your craft. And I want to be able um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's, that's comfortable to them and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. It, it doesn't feel right to go back to posting like I have been and it also doesn't feel right to go dark because I love what I do. But I think it is important to show that change is possible and that uh, I'm learning, maybe even for goodness it's possible. I want to use this opportunity to step up and own my mistakes, and like I said before, I've never done an apology the right way, um, and I Because you rarely fucking do it. Your method was to avoid whatever is being talked about negatively about you. Just ignore it, and it'll go away. That's always worked for you. But now that it isn't going away, you had no choice but to do this. You were forced. And the one who opened up and talked about this from the very beginning was Trisha Paytas. The one woman that, that many people have talked down upon because she's got mental disorders. No one believed her. By the way, I did, okay? I don't even know nothing about this guy, but everything that comes out of Trisha Paytas' mouth, I believe. She just tends to exaggerate a little bit more. She just, she's very, um illustrative about it, which makes it sound like a crazy story, but there's truth in the things that she says. Just because a person has mental disorders or mental illnesses should not be a reason for them not to be listened to. And you got away with this for so long, David, because you knew that. You knew that no one was gonna believe Trisha Paytas. But you fucked up. I'm gonna look back at this and I'm, I'm gonna be pissed at some things that I didn't say or I wish I could have added more. Um, but this is, this is my beginning to that and, and, and I'm sorry for everybody that I hurt. I also want to add that I'm making myself available to anyone that wants to reach out that I've hurt in the past. Um, I want to be able to, to hear and understand from yourselves and I'll be reaching out on my own to some people um, because... Okay, I was gonna say, you should, be the, you should be the one reaching out to them. You're the one that caused the harm, but okay still have a lot of learning to do and you do. I think when you talk to other people, especially about experiences like this, it um it really helps you see things in a different way. But yeah, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I just wanted to sit and talk and ramble and and I, I really truly hope that someone can take something away from this experience and another creator can can take away from this. And I know it's it feels because I, I know how crazy it felt to me that there was some sort of toxicity or some sort of power dynamic in my friend group. But really just take the moment, especially when creating content that you're trying to get viewership out of or you're trying to get laughs out of, like really take a moment and, and look at where the jokes end and where the feelings begin because I think that's so incredibly important. Good advice. Okay. Good advice. Uh, I'll see you guys. Bye. Okay, so this apology video was a lot better than the first one. But I just hate the fact that it was because of H3H3 podcast, which is Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein, to speak up constantly and keep talking about this constantly until people start picking up the story. And Business Insider had to make an article on it. And to take all that to finally force him to apologize. That part still bothers me. But this video is a lot better. Still don't like David Dobrik. I still think he's full of shit. He's got a lot of years of growing to do and a lot more apologies to make because he had a lot of years harming people. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell 
so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.